Hello. Good day. Today class, we are going to look at uh, a very exciting topic, especially for kids, uh, suppression of, of numbers. Today we are going to look at suppression of uh, whole numbers. Now, if you look at the, the board, you see that we have other ways uh, that can be used for suppression. Other ways that can be used for suppression include uh, minus, less, deduct, reduce, take away, decrease, uh, so on and so forth. Those are other ways that we are associated with uh, minus. Okay, in this class, we are going to look at something that uh, we enable kids, you know, uh, like um, handling uh, problems that are involved, that involve uh, suppression of whole numbers. So first and foremost, uh, it's something that we, there are things we need to know, especially the fundamentals. Yes, if you are given a number that you subtract uh, a number from another number. Now, there are names that we used to call them. Now, the number that is being subtracted from, uh, we call it minus. So if you are, like for instance, if you look at the board, we have 167 uh, minus 49. This 167 that is uh, being, uh, the number that is being subtracted from is called minus. That is the correct name for it. Now, what about the number that is subtracted? The one you are subtracting, which is uh, 49, uh, the number you are, you know, that you are subtracted is called subtracted. So we need to know all these things. Then the answer uh, so obtained from the 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 subtracted, the subtract, the minus, and the subtracted, the result, uh, which we usually call answer, is called difference. So. If you have the minus, uh, take away or subtract from the subtract hand, the result so obtained is called uh, is called difference. So we need to know this. Then in subtraction, the numbers are uh, in subtractions numbers are so arranged, you know, based on their digital position, starting from uh, units, units should unit versus unit, tens versus tens, hundred versus hundred and so on and so forth. So in the arrangement of the digit positions, especially when you are handling the uh, uh, suppressions of numbers, so all the numbers must occupy their various uh, positions. So this is very important. Then, after that, what do you need to do? There are some steps that you need to do, especially uh, those of you who will be watching this video and want to teach your, your, your kids. So in this class, I, I have a way a very method, very exciting method that I will introduce so that you no know, doing this uh, uh, sum we make our uh, student uh, very exciting. So that's the essence of this class. So this is something that we are used to before, but there are ways we can also do it to make children, you know, you know like the a, a particular topic. Note, first of all, you if you are doing this, you must if you are doing a uh, suppression, you must identify your minus and your subtract, subtract hand. So those things you must understand which one is your minus and which one is your what? Your subtract hand. If you look at this now, this is our minus and this is our what? Subtract hand. You must know it. And you must make sure that they are arranged that the units versus unit, tens versus tens and hundred versus hundred, so on and so forth. Then the first thing after identifying that the the the, the minus and the subtract end in their unit positions. After identifying, one thing you should also know is that if the unit digit of the minus is less than is less than that of the subtract end, that means you cannot subtract. What you need to do, you move to your left. You move to your what? To your left and borrow one from the next digits. So that one you borrow from that next digits actually represents a uh, 10 because we are operating in base 10. And make sure, as you are reducing borrowing from 1, that means the number you are borrowing from has to be reduced by 1. So that must be noted. 
So now before you now continue your, your basic uh, operation. Now take for instance uh, the method I said that I'm going to uh, introduce here so that you know mass will be fun you know, for kids. So if in what we have here we have 100 and 167 I take away our 49. Now if you want to do this, how do we go about this? How do we really handle this? Okay, if we want to handle this, it's quite simple. Now what we need to do is first and foremost, we must know, we must come here to see the first digit of our minus and the first the unit digit of our minus and the unit digit of our what? Of our subtractant. So if you see, like I said, if this one is less than this, what you need to do, you have to come here and borrow one. So that one you borrow because we are operating in what? In base 10. Because we are what? Operating in base 10. So here, 7 take away 9 is not possible. So what you need to do, we'll borrow one from here. So since we are borrowing one from here, here becomes uh, uh, reduced to 5. Now in this case, if you are handling the kit, you know, when you borrow one here, you write here, you say 17. But in some cases, it's very difficult for those kids to find it difficult. What you need to do, the time you borrow, you can come under here, you write it here, 10. Then you put a minus sign here, you put a minus uh, what? sign here. Okay, what you need to do, since you have done that, what you can need to do here, now you can use your subtract end. Subtract it from your minus. You now say 9 minus... 7, 9, take away 7 is 2, right? So it's 2. So what you need to do, just bring the 2 here and put it under that 10 that you already borrowed. Now, 10, take away 2 is 8. It's 8, so it is the 8 that you put here. So actually, normally, if you borrow here, if you write, uh, the one you borrow, if you write here, you know it will be 17. You will not say 17, take away 9. No, for kids, they find it... Uh, sometimes very uh, difficult and every tendency for them to make mistakes are uh, there. So now if you have this now 17, you now say 17 take away uh, 9, you will count uh, 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, take away 9, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you count the rest, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You see, our answer is 8. But this idea make it very, very easy for kids. For kids, you know, to operate. So here we see 5, take away 4 is just 1. And here, bring 1. So this become our results. Okay, now let's look at another example. Let's look at some more example so that we will understand uh, what we have just done here. Okay. Example one. Um, one hundred and sixty. Take away. Take away. Take away. Seventy-seven. Take away 77. So 156 take away 77. So you have to identify your what? Your minus and your what? Your subtraction. This is your minus. This is 156 take away 77. Okay, you rule here. Okay. Now if you look at the first digit here, it's 6. This is 7. That is your unit digit is 6 for the, for the minus. And your unit digit for your subtracted is 7. So you see this one is less than this. It's not possible for you to, you know, to operate here. What you need to do, you have to borrow from the next digit to your left. Hmm? To your left. Yeah, so you borrow one here. Here will be reduced by 1, become 4. And here, here become... Uh, Supposed to be 16, but I told you you don't need to write that uh, this thing here. What you need to use, you can write the thing here and put a minus here. Okay, now you now see 7 minus 6. 
7 minus is very easy for children to understand that. So it's 1. That 1 here, you bring it here, you say minus. Hmm? So 10 take away 9. No, I mean 10 take away 1. 10 take away 1, our answer is a what? 9. It's very easy for children to understand this. So you put your 9 here. So you come here, 4 take away 7. It's not possible. It's not what? Possible. What you need to do, you remove this one and this becomes 0. And you're supposed to put it here to make it 40, but not do it. Just you can come under here and put 10 here. Put minus here. So you now say 7 take away 4. 7 take away 4. And, <clears throat> and that will give us what? Give us uh, uh, 3. So you put it here and say 10 take away 3. And that will give us what? Give us 7. So at this now our final answer. So if and actually we are using the other one, we say uh, 156 uh, minus uh, 77. Uh, put it here. The way you borrow here, this is 4. Put here 16. You know, for children to count this 16, you know, sometimes it's very, very you know, time consuming, you know, to them. But this idea will enable them to work covenantly on their own. So here, assuming we have 16 minus 7. So we begin to count 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 16. Before we now you know, reduce 7 and get our answer. So if we do that, yeah, we say, um, either we say 16, we count 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You know, sometimes children, they make mistakes uh, by counting uh, in this format. But this one will enable them to do it and, you know, minimize our error. Is that understood? Okay, now let's look at another example. Example 2. Example 2, as if we have um, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0. Mm -hmm. uh, take away 5, 6, 8. Okay, now we want to, we want to see how we can use that same method you know, to operate this. In this case, what you need to do, you see that your smile head in the first on the unit position is less than the soprat head. So what you need to do, you have to borrow. But here, if you look at it, you cannot borrow from here. You go to the next one, you cannot borrow from it. But you can borrow from the last, uh, the thousand uh, digits. So when you borrow one here, here becomes reduced to zero. Here becomes ten. You have to borrow one from here, and here will reduce to nine, and this becomes ten. Borrow from here, here reduced to 9, and this become what? 10. Like the method we are using, the one you borrow from here, now you don't need to write it here, you just come here, you just say 10. Take away, take away 10 minus first. So now what you need to do, you just say 8 minus 0. 8 take away 0 is 8. So you put 8 here. Now it's very easy for them to say 10 take away 2. Uh, 10 take away it. 10 take away it. Hmm? So our answer will become 2. Our answer will become 2. So here we come here again. 9 minus 6. This one is very easy. Since the tenth digit in the minor of the minor is greater than that of the subtract n. So we can just subtract easily. 9 minus 6 is 3. Then 9 minus 5, and that will give us what? 4. So this idea is another way of, you know, of doing the uh, subtraction, especially if you are, you know, handling kids. So it will make them to learn. It will make them want to learn more. So in our very next class, we are going to look at another method of borrowing, of you know, of doing suppression without borrowing. So, but this is very convenient too. But I will also introduce that in our next class. So have a nice time. You can introduce your kids to this and let them you know, make themselves 
with it. And before you know, they will avoid all those mistakes of, you know, counting before uh, suppression. Have a nice time.